There's nothing like doing YouTube, man. You make a video and you're just about to release it and then you get some news that scraps the entire video and you have to record the one you're currently recording. But nonetheless, we have some news coming out of Detroit Lions camp from Tom Pelissero. He says, with injuries in the backfield, the Lions are re-signing Mohamed Ibrahim to their practice squad per his agent and then he leaves his agent's tag right there. And I don't know what this guy's laughing for. You're an idiot. Anyway, so we talked about it. We talked about the possibility of him coming back. Now, he was injured in the preseason, I believe. You had Jamar Jefferson who was injured with the in the practice, like the practice against the Jacksonville Jaguars. He was injured there. And then Mohammed got injured in I want to say it was the second or third preseason game. And if you don't remember, we waived him with an injury settlement, which means that he had to be out the duration of the injury. And then an initial three weeks after the injury was settled, then he could come back to the Detroit Lions. He could go to any other team outside of the Detroit Lions immediately after whatever amount of time he was going to be off. So that tells me that you have the injury settlement and he must be ready to go because it's only been two weeks. Whereas Chase Cota came back after four weeks. Mohammed looks like six. And I figured that either Jamar Jefferson or Mohammed would return to our team. You know the system. And this guy, we had high hopes about him before he got hurt. He was actually performing really well, too. If you go to practice and stuff like that, you could see that he was performing extremely well. And it was sad to see him go. We lost a ton of people to injuries leading up to the preseason. Tom Kennedy was one of them. Chase Cota played during the preseason, and then he got lost as well. It would be great to have him in at wide receiver as far as depth as well. So this is this is big news for the Detroit Lions. So now that means that you're talking about now we have depth because we were completely depleted at RB. We had Jameer Gibbs, who probably will play. Then we have uh, we brought up Divine Ozigbo, and then we have Craig Reynolds. That was our entire running back room. All of those guys were probably going to be active for the Detroit Lions in the game against the Baltimore Ravens. Now you have a little bit of depth, and there also is more moves they can make. I mean, they could bring in Benny Snell or something like that. They could even bring back Jamar Jefferson as well to the practice squad. So I'm happy about this. I hope that he is good to go. He's ready to play. And he is healthy and can contribute right away because we might need him to do just that. So that is awesome. Mohammed Ibrahim is coming back to the Detroit Lions practice squad. And that is something that we need because, again, we had three running backs on our entire roster with the 53 and the 16 with the practice squad as, as well. So I expect another move to be made uh, because we really don't know how long David Montgomery is going to be out. The way that... Br Dan Campbell made it made it sound. He said sometime. So you have the game against the Baltimore Ravens. Let's scratch that. Then you have, well, he might return against the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm going to say sometime means at least a few weeks, two to three. And with our bye week being the third week, we could go into November and he should be healthy and ready to play with some padding. And if he's not, then we have depth as well. And we could also make some more moves. So let me know in the comments below. Are you excited that Mohammed is back? I am. And don't forget about the live stream watch party as well. You can see on the ticker below, we sold 22 tickets. We had 35 last time. So we have a week left. Let's see if we can beat that and get to 36. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.